Our local custom PC and laptop brand, Illigear, is not new in the gaming peripherals market. Exactly one year ago, we reviewed the Illigear Bolt series curved gaming monitors. Since then, we have been asking them, when are they planning to bring in flat gaming monitors? It took them quite a while, one year to be exact, and here they are, the Apex series. Illigear has provided the Apex 27 and 24 for testing purposes. They have no directives and control over our review and the features and all of them are objectively tested and my opinion can be subjectively to my personal bias but with that out of the way let's roll the intro just like the boat series the apex series gaming monitors also come in two different sizes 27 inch and 24 inch. The price starts from 739 for the Apex 24 and it goes up to 1199 Ringgit Malaysia for the Apex 27. In this review, I will compare them side by side to help you decide which one suits your requirements better. Out of the box, you will be getting the monitor, the monitor stand, a power adapter, 1.5 meter display port cable, additional screws for VESA mounts, and user manual. Interestingly, the Apex 27 comes with an all-in-one adapter while the Apex 24 comes with a brick even though the power output is identical. I'm not sure why they just don't choose whichever one they want to keep with that but personally I think the one with the brick should be much more easier to use because you can either buy a longer cable for better cable management. The Apex 27 has a highly adjustable monitor stand. It has tilt, height, swivel adjustments and you can even use the monitor in vertical mode. It is an upgrade over the Bolt 27 which only limits to tilt adjustments. As for the Apex 24, well, tilt adjustment it is. I will prefer to use a flat base instead of these three pointy stands as it takes up a lot of space. If you want to use a monitor arm, Illigear also provides screws for the VESA mount. Just keep in mind that the Apex 24 uses a 75 by 75 mm VESA mount. As for the monitor design, the Apex 27 stands out from the two as it has RGB strips at the back and Illigear logo projector. You can freely adjust the color of the RGB strip, but you have only red, blue, green or off for the logo projector. We have comprehensive I.O. on both monitors. The Apex 24 has one VGA port, two HDMI 1.4 port, one DisplayPort 1.2 and one 3.5mm audio output. On the other hand, the Apex 27 has two HDMI 2.0, two DisplayPort 1.2, one 3.5mm audio output. Additionally, the Apex 27 also has built-in speakers. They are not the best but at least you have something as a backup. The Apex 24 uses a single joystick for the OSD menu control which is way better compared to the Apex 27 which uses a column of buttons that you can't see when you are using the monitor. The OSD menu on the Apex 27 has more configurations when compared with the Apex 24. Now let's talk about the display quality. Illigear has decided to step up the refresh rate of both monitors from 144Hz to 165Hz. For gamers, a higher refresh rate monitor is always a welcome feature. However, while the Apex 27 has an IPS panel, the Apex 24 has a 1080p Full HD TN panel. That results in a poor color performance for the Apex 24. Based on our color checker, it only achieves around 81% coverage of the sRGB color gamut. The color shift is also very apparent from a different viewing angle other than the front. Since the Apex 27 uses a higher resolution 1440p IPS panel, we are not experiencing any color shifting issues and our color checker has reported a 99% coverage of the sRGB color gamut. In short, the Apex 27 is superior when it comes to panel quality. That brings us to the conclusion of this review. Since Illigear has similar pricing for both Apex and Bolt series, 
some users are actually facing the dilemma on deciding which monitor to purchase. Frankly speaking, my number one suggestion would be the Apex 27. It has flat panel, a very good color reproduction, 165Hz and 1440p. You can't go wrong with all of these specs and not to mention you get this highly adjustable monitor stand as a bonus, which is missing from the previous generation Bolt 27. And the next suggestion would be the Bolt 27. Of course, uh, for the 1440p resolution and 144Hz, that is your second choice. The third choice would be the Bolt 24, which is using the Samsung VA panel, which you can get a Full HD resolution, 144Hz refresh rate. Unfortunately, the bottom out of the four monitors by Illegia goes to the Apex 24. I'm not sure why they have chosen to use a TN panel. The color shifting is especially distracting if you try to watch movie with uh, some of your family members or anyone who want to go along to enjoy the content. This is not a particularly enjoyable monitor to use for that. And besides, why I also very recommend the Apex 27 is also because of the pricing. At the official retail price of 1199 Ringgit Malaysia, I believe this is one of the cheapest monitor you can get. I mean, 27 inch, 165Hz refresh rate, 1440p resolution. On that side note, this one can be a decent option if you solely wanted to have a gaming monitor at 165Hz refresh rate. Frankly speaking, for the price of 699 not mistaken, I don't think there's any other option you can get if you want to get 165Hz at this price point. So, depends on your personal requirements. If you think that color shifting is not an issue, Bolt 24, you can go ahead. Otherwise, you can always increase your budget and go for the Apex 27. And there you have it. So, that's all I want to share with you about the new Illegia Apex series gaming monitors. Do let me know what you guys think about this monitor and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.